Hi, welcome to our Cold War vid today by Chris, Doug, and Adam. First things first, we have to start off with the Berlin Airlift, which basically started the conflict as the Russians did not agree with the U.S. sending in help to the citizens of East Berlin who had no food at the time. Eventually, in 1961, the Berlin Wall was established to divide East and West Germany, with Berlin being a center spot. Uh, the Soviets had the East, and West Germany was free. That's about it. This bit's a little long. It is. And now the Red Scare, which was quite small in what we were trying to do here. It was basically just Senator Joe McCarthy spreading fear over communism. There we go. The space race was a long and grueling journey for the, cit for the employees of NASA and the U.S. citizens who watched as the Russians beat us to space with the Sputnik launch in 1957 and Yuri Gagarin being the first man to orbit space in 1961. However, John Glenn orbiting the, orbiting the Earth in 1962 and landing on the moon boosted us in the first. A major part of the espionage portion of the Cold War was the U-2 spy plane, which was shot down over Ukraine, and led to major concerns over the prisoner exchange, which happened in 1962 and was seen in Bridge of Spies, as we received Gary Powers in exchange for Rudolf Abel, who was a believed Soviet spy. Next, we move on to the Vietnam War, which was a conflict and hoping to stop the spread of communism within South Vietnam. The Viet Cong, led by Ho Chi Minh, were communist and had aid from Russia and China, while the South was still capitalist and had aid from the U.S. The Viet Cong relied on guerrilla warfare, hiding in trees, bushes, and ambushing U.S. patrols. They did this in famous attacks such as the Tet Offensive, which brought major attention to the, the aspect of the war, which was a major um, controversy to U.S. citizens. It was convenient in continued invasion out of Laos by the Viet Cong. And eventually, in the early 70s, Nixon ordered evacuations in, of Saigon. Originally, the evacuation was disobeyed by the ambassador who believed he could win the war. And eventually, in the summer of 1975, he gave up and the evacuation began. <coughs> After the evacuation, during the evacuation, Vietnamese citizens swarmed to helicopters trying to flee as the Viet Cong came closer and moved further down towards South Vietnam and Saigon. Hel helicopters would be crowded, packed full of people. Those helicopters would then be moved, would be flown to ships where they would be landed and the people would be put on until they could be shipped to the U.S. or other foreign countries. Like the Philippines. They were so anxious to get citizens on board, they didn't even bother moving the helicopters. They just pushed them into the ocean. Some ships were uh, cluttered with so many people. Thousands. The Watergate scandal in 1972 was a major end to Nixon's career as president, as the president, and soon led to him uh, Resign, resigning from the job at, at, before he got removed from office. It was his cover-up of the scandal that led to his departure. It was also led by the re-elect Nixon party, which was a group of radicalists. And here we have an excellent portrait of R Mr. Richard Nixon. Yes. Courtesy of Doug Gibson. Look at that jawline. Mm. God. He is not a crook. He actually is, though. Kind of. Depends on how you think about it. Yeah. And now we get to the end of the Cold War, which is where we see the Soviets get involved in their version of Vietnam, the Afghanistan War. Anyone else want to say anything? I mean, we don't really have much here. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. 
And lastly, we move on to the eventual collapse, which was when they tore down the Berlin Wall and reunited Germany in 1989. Yay. Freedom. Yep, that was it. That's what it felt like for these Germans. There is Ronald Reagan. As he famously said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. We don't really have much to say here. It was just tearing down the wall. It was momentous achievement. Did I say that right? No, I didn't. Monumentous achievement. Monumental. Monumental? Don't okay. can't grammar. <laughs> Let's just say people were very happy. Yeah. And here we go. This is it. the eventual collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991 following the Afghanistan war. There we have the famous Soviet symbol, broken in half. And lastly, the money dump that was the Afghanistan war for the Soviets. And now people felt safe because the Soviet Union was no. Okay, we forgot to add the Korean War, so here we go. The, com the North was communist, aided by China, and they invaded the South. The U.S. pushed them back, blah, da, 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 da. General Douglas MacArthur lost his position because of it, because he went mentally insane and requested that he wanted to bomb the entire country. So, yeah, big mistake there. And here's a drawing of Stalin. Yeah, he's not happy.